I'm Carrie Sherber, Senior Editor at WhatTheyThink.com, and I'm here with Jim Hamilton, who is a Group Director at InfoTrends, a world, world-renowned research firm. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about InfoTrends and what you focus on. I'd be glad to. Uh, we have a number of different areas. Of course, production is one key uh, focus for mm -hmm. the kinds of markets that what they think folks are interested in. And so I have responsibility for the production group, mm -hmm. and we look at everything from wide format printing to label and packaging, document outsourcing, on-demand printing, workflow software that's associated with that, mm -hmm. all of those areas. So it's an exciting uh, piece, I think. And one of the things we're doing particularly interesting is around ultimate guides. Oh, okay. So looking at some of the hardware and software products um, with a web interface that people mm -hmm. can learn more about what the offerings are in the marketplace. You also have some e-learning options too, don't you? Oh yes, yeah. we've done e-learning as well through a business development program that we offer. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we do that for many of the vendors in the marketplace mm -hmm. and so if you're looking at business development programs that may be offered by, uh, you know, various companies, mm -hmm. we're often the, the uh, face behind face that. Face behind that, that's great. So we, uh, Droop is coming up faster than any of us are ready for, I think, but you know, uh, early early May in 2012, we'll all be in Dusseldorf. And um, you know, I don't know how many Drupas this would be for you. I think uh, 1995 was my first. first. So, uh, and then they went off year to 2000 and it's been every four years since then. It's always a great experience. You know, you have the idea whether it's going to be the this Drupa or the that Drupa. And, and so what Drupa is it going to be, this or that? Uh, <laughs> Mark Pella suggested it's going to be the mobile Drupa, which I oh. think is an interesting concept. I think last one was an inkjet Drupa, and I think this is going to be another inkjet Drupa, but you can't really call it another the, inkjet yeah. Drupa. I, I'm calling it the cloud Drupa, which, is, which think, incorporates mobile. I, I think, I think yeah. you may be on target with that. Yeah. I think that's a good... Uh, so Good. tell Barb. No. <laughs> but so as, you, as, as people think about attending, I mean, obviously it's important for the vendors to be there um, because it's a global, global marketplace. But for attendees, what are some of the trends that they can expect to see? What are some, you know, we talk about cloud computing. What should they be looking for when they go? Well, it really is the soup to nuts opportunity at an event like mm -hmm. that. Uh, where you can look at uh, workflow software, uh, production-oriented software, um, mobile applications to support production areas, mm -hmm. uh, new print technologies, which really is a, there's a huge amount of activity around that. But every time there is a wider, faster new technology, mm -hmm. workflow, front end, and back end finishing have to catch up and, and work with it. And in fact, I think some of the most amazing developments really have been around finishing mm -hmm. and making it so that you can take some of the automation gains that you may get from uh, workflow software and the front ends and really get it to the end to a finished product. So really end to end, uh, not quite lights out, but... Well, uh, that's really one of the advantages of digital yeah. print. Maybe not fully lights out, but uh, I've, I've looked at what next generation digital products should look like. Mm -hmm. And uh, you think of things like electronic collation, which mm -hmm. I think folks take for granted. Mm -hmm. The ability of a single operator to run multiple devices. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, there's some automation mm -hmm. and some, some savings there associated with that. And then things like being able to automatically duplex and draw from multiple drawers. Mm -hmm. I think there's some opportunity to create some great new product technologies around what these wide array inkjet heads uh, can do. Yeah. Um, that's not to say, though, that we've got really some incredible things happening on the electrophotographic side. Mm -hmm. So that there's great quality levels, wide range of substrates, integration with web to print capabilities, job ticketing, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's neat. And, and you and I have an opportunity sometimes to get a little peek into what's actually going to be there. Of course, we can't really talk about it yet. but, but. Um, you know, even in inkjet, I think maybe some higher end stuff and some lower end stuff, you know, because right now the production inkjet, a lot, I mean, it's all, you know, relatively pricey, but maybe there's some, there'll be some opportunities to even come down market. You well, know, there's a, a big bit. gap right now. There yeah. are more office oriented light production mm -hmm. inkjet products, and then you have these high speed continuous TV feed devices mm -hmm. and a couple of B2 format cut sheet devices. There's a big gap in between. Exactly. And that's part of where I think the opportunity can, can lie because. I don't think everybody's going to be looking at products that cost a million plus dollars. Yeah. There need to be some in that, uh, you know, that range in between. And certainly with the speeds that we're seeing out of these inkjet heads, I think we'll, we'll maybe not fully formed by Drupa, mm -hmm. but maybe shown then and then in the years following that, we'll see a lot more. And the other, the other thing that I've seen that as, 
increasingly at the shows we've been going to and the vendor briefings we've been going to is more support for a multi-vendor production platform because that's the that's the world today. I mean, people don't typically have just one vendor anymore. So I, I don't know if you're seeing the same things. Oh, clearly. And uh, uh, certainly also related to the traditional offset vendors. Mm -hmm. One of the big news pieces more recently has been of the alliances between companies like Rico and Heidelberg, mm -hmm. Ose and Man Roland, mm -hmm. KBA actually working with R.R. Donnelly, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of that integration happening and some of it is around um, being a one-stop shop. That's the term that Heidelberg uses when mm -hmm. they talk about their ability to work with Unisource, uh, EFI wide format, mm -hmm. view tech capabilities, uh, Rico C901, mm -hmm. and then of course Speedmaster and mm -hmm. uh, you know the, the, the core products. The, the core products that and they offer. And then they're offer. doing some interesting things. And they're things. consumables too. Yeah, and they're also doing some interesting things on the finishing side. So, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And I know that you like to go uh, there because you are you speak German, you have a German heritage, and all of that. But for the average attendee, maybe who hasn't been to Drupal before, do you have any advice for them to prepare? You can't just sort of walk in there and be be effective, right? Because it's so big. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It's a large number of halls. You've got to come in uh, uh, really with a game plan and, and preparation. But the halls are grouped mm -hmm. in certain kinds of ways, mm -hmm. so that if you're interested in certain types of finishing, it's grouped that way. Mm -hmm. Digital front ends, uh, digital printing, the more offset oriented mm -hmm. uh, capabilities. And so, but even there, you're looking at immense halls. Yeah. I think probably the best piece of advice we can give people is get your hotel reservations as soon now. as possible. Now, yeah, exactly, yeah. And there's also opportunities to stay in private homes, which can be, you know, we're used to staying in hotels when we travel, but the first year I went, I stayed in a private home, and that was a great experience, too, to get to, you know, experience some of the culture. I'd love to do that. I think that yeah. would be a lot of fun. Yeah, so, and then um, I guess the final question that, that I would have for you is, um, you know, in terms of the, the tools that, that Drupa does provide on their site, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff for helping you plan your visits. I mean, do you recommend that they try to make appointments with vendors ahead of time, or? You know, I haven't done as much of, uh, you know, the, the scheduling kind of things, mm -hmm. but again, that's more the perspective yeah. that you have when you're not, yeah. you're not going there with, a, with, uh, with your checkbook. sort of the buying <laughs> uh, plan in mind. Mm -hmm. Um, but certainly, uh, talking with your local rep, because many of them will actually travel, mm -hmm. and maybe not your specific one, but maybe one from your region, and you may find that there are events for Americans in, uh, you know, or Canadians or Latin Mexicans Americans, or Latin Americans yeah. or whatever, yeah. in the, the forum there. And there are international mm -hmm. events there, right. too. And I think that's something that, that I would recommend, that uh, if, if you look to go over there, look to see who your compadres are who are over there because again they may have some of the same questions and planning uh, uh, initiatives that you might have. And then also I'm, I'm sure that they're going to continue to develop the Drupa Innovation Park and mm -hmm. I don't know about you but I found that to be fascinating because you have some of the names that we recognize in there but you have smaller companies that you've never heard of and it's an opportunity for for you as an attendee to maybe see something really unique. You could spend a full day in there you really yeah. could. It's uh, a innovative uh, chance to talk with people one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I did enjoy that as well, but I didn't have enough time to spend as much uh, time in there as, so as I plan, might like to. plan a lot of time for that one. Yeah. yeah, well, it's a trade show where you could easily spend a week there. Yeah, or two. Yeah, well, you could spend <laughs> it for the whole time. Thanks, Jim. That was great advice. Thank My you. My pleasure. Benefit from change.